Hello Libra, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. This will be your love reading for January. January 1st through the 15th. This will be your love reading for January. Let's see what's going on with Libra. We have, okay, we have power and intention and divine timing. Okay, Libra, I feel like you're really waiting for something to come through. You are, when it comes to love, I feel like you may be in a situation to where someone is sh really showing, trying to show power over you. It's uh, maybe a power struggle that you're going through. Um, someone's trying to change your mind about certain things. They are wanting you to see their point of view. And I feel like you're kind of feel like that's not the only point of view that you want to look at. Um, but I feel like this person is being very strong-minded. Yeah, and you're trying to keep your composure about the situation, but I feel like you're kind of, you're struggling, Libra. I feel like you're definitely struggling. You're definitely feeling like you want to just release this energy and just, move away from it you want to kind of run from um whatever the, it is that this person is is doing you want to kind of get away from that energy you feel like you need to escape in a way i feel like this person is really trying to show some kind of power over you yeah definitely you want to run You have the Eight of Wands. You definitely want to move away from this situation. What kind of struggles are you going through, Libra? Wow. I'm I really I'm I'm feeling like this situation has you torn because you're not sure if you want to stay and you're not sure if you want to go. Uh, but I, I really feel like you really are needing an uh, escape. What else do we have for Libra? Then we'll get some advice for you too, Libra. Yeah, the King of Swords. Yeah, I, f I feel like someone is really trying to manipulate you. They're trying to manipulate you with their words. Um, definitely trying to make you see their point of view over your own. I'm feeling like this person that you're dealing with, they want you to see their point of view only. They don't want you to have a point of view. Does that make sense? I feel like this person is very controlling. They're very manipulative. Um, and they kind of get you with that guilty response. They try to make you feel guilty to try to manipulate the situation. Nine of Pentacles. So definitely, you may be, this person may be depending on you for a certain situation. Um, they may be out of work at the moment, um, really depending on your income or you're depending on their income. Uh, but I really feel like there's a dependency problem here. Um, one of you is dependent upon the other for some kind of um, 
material need. Okay, yeah, we have the high priestess. So definitely. And actually the high priestess wanted to come out in reverse. So I'm I feel like Libra, you're struggling with trusting yourself. You're struggling with trusting this person in this situation. You're not quite sure that this person is leading you in the direction that you really want to go. I feel like that's the reason why you want to escape. That's the reason why you want to move away from the situation. Because you definitely feel manipulated. You definitely feel like this person is kind of keeping you bound up. I'll be surprised if the Eight of Swords doesn't come out in this reading. Um, but I, I do feel like you're trying to compromise. Yeah, and you're looking for healing. You're looking for some balance in this situation. And I feel like, Libra, I feel like you are really at the end of your patience with this situation. I feel, I feel like you're trying to keep yourself composed. You're definitely trying to keep yourself composed. You're trying to find the right timing maybe to end this situation or to um, kind of resolve the situation. But I feel like you're waiting for the precise moment to make a move. And, but I do feel like you're trying very hard to keep your composure, to keep your calm, to keep your patience. Um, but I feel like it's wearing very thin um, in this situation. I feel like you're really struggling. You're really struggling in this situation, Libra. Yeah, we have the judgment card. So you're looking for a new beginning. I feel like you want to kind of start over. But I, I'm really feeling, Libra, that you don't want to start over with this person. I feel like you're kind of, you're over it. Because you feel really judged by this person. This person has manipulated you so much that you... You just feel stuck. You feel like you need to make a decision, but you want to make a decision to leave out of the situation, but you feel stuck in the situation. You, you're, you're, you're trying to really find clarity in, in this, and I'm not sure that you will, Libra. I'm not sure that there is any clear answers for this type of situation because this is the kind of person that just likes to manipulate to get what they want from them, to get the certain outcome that they're expecting. They'll manipulate. They'll make you feel guilty. They will say things to really hurt your feelings or bring you down, um, kill your self-esteem, kill your confidence. Um, because I feel like either you or this person is really dependent on how the situation works out because one of you isn't working or one of you doesn't have enough income to um, really be independent at the moment. And I feel that that leaves you with a lot of decisions to make, Libra. What else do we have for Libra? Yeah, the Two of Cups. I feel like Libra, in the back of your mind, I feel like in the back of your mind, you really want this to work out. But um, you really want this person just to see your point of view, just see you. Um, for who you really are, for what you're trying to do, to appreciate what you're doing, um, <clears throat> for the kind of effort that you're making. And I feel like this person really isn't giving you very much appreciation. They're not really seeing you for who you are, what you're about, or what you do 
on a day-to-day -day basis, they're kind of making it feel like you're not doing enough when you're like pulling yourself to the limits to try to get things done. And I feel like all you want is appreciation from this person. All you want is for them to show you real love and gratitude for the things that you do, for, you know, the things that you try to accomplish. I feel like you work very hard to take care of this person, maybe to take care of your home, or if you have children or a family. I feel like you work very hard to take care of this, and this person just don't see everything that you're doing. They don't appreciate everything that you're doing. Wow, you have the chariots. Definitely. Now the chariot wanted to come out in the reverse as well. So, um, again, this is more stuck energy. I'm not feeling like you're I feel like you want to escape, Libra. I feel like you want to make moves. You want to tell this person exactly how you feel. You want to really pour your heart out to this person to really appreciate and be thankful for the things that you do for them to really show gratitude. But I feel like, like I said, this person is very manipulative. They're not seeing you for your worth. Um, but in the chariot in reverse, I feel like this is stuck energy. I feel like you are kind of delayed in taking action, even though your mind is working like a hundred miles a minute trying to come up with solutions. I feel like it's got you in kind of a deadlock. I feel like you want to move forward, but you may not know how. Or you may just want to give this person another chance with this Two of Cups energy. Maybe that's what it is. You just want to give this person another chance to kind of work things out. I feel like you really care about this person, but this person is very controlling. They're very manipulative. Um, I, I really feel like there's a power struggle, even if it's like an internal power struggle, Libra, to where, um, you're really not voicing your opinion, but you, maybe you should. Um, but I, I, I feel like there's a big struggle here. Okay. You have the Ace of Wands. Libra, I feel like with time, um, you are going to realize which way to go. I feel like you're going to be drawn to the answers that you need. I feel like the, this Ace of Wands energy, I feel like this is you getting your guidance for some reason um, or inspiration to move on. Yeah, you have the Star and the King of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like, Libra, you really have a lot of hope. I feel like you're hoping for a good outcome. You're really hoping this all works out. Because I feel like with this King of Pentacles energy, um, I feel like this is the energy that you're showing actually, Libra. Because I, I feel like you're very loyal. You're very stable. You want stability. You want um, someone who's going to just have your back. Someone who's going to be there for you in tough times and... You know, not try to manipulate the situation. Um, I definitely feel like you're looking for practical answers. 
you're looking for stability. And I feel like that's what you're lacking at the moment. I feel like you're lacking stability. You're looking for, you're having faith that it's all going to work out. But you want things to be more stable. Spirit, give us some advice for Libra in this situation. What is the advice for this challenge? What is the advice? Yeah, you have the the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Let's see what else do we have? And the Tower. Okay. Okay, Libra. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Two of Wands. Okay, Libra, your advice, and I'm not sure if you're ready to hear it, but your advice. I feel like, Libra, you really, the advice to you is to really speak your mind. Let this person know exactly how you're feeling and exactly what you think about the situation. Instead of waiting for results, you need to make a choice. You need to um, choose which direction that you want to go in. Um, if you want to deal with this person who is manipulative and controlling, I feel like they're, you know, that kind of situation is built on sand. This tower is going to fall. And once this tower falls, um, that's going to lead to more happiness. But you need to make a decision, um, Libra. In order to find this happiness that's coming through, uh, you need to make a decision to kind of stand up for yourself, to show this person that you're, you can't be controlled you know and if this is a toxic situation if there's any kind of abuse or anything like that which i hope there is in libra um but if there's any kind of abuse or anything like that you need to find a way out you need to find a way out take the nearest exit but yeah, you're going to gain a lot of happiness once there is change in this situation. And unfortunately, um, something's got to crumble for your happiness to break through. Because, yeah, I don't see very much happiness in this reading at the moment. I feel like you're struggling. I feel like you're really struggling. Okay, Libra, let's get an outcome. What is the outcome for Libra? What is the outcome? <clears throat> yeah, the world. Okay. So, yeah, I, I, feel, I feel like Libra, with this situation, you're already learning the lessons. You, you, you're, you know which way you want to go. You just need to make the final decision. Um, you need to figure out what's best for Libra. Make your stands. Speak your mind. Stand up for yourself. <laughs> yes, definitely. And have strength. Libra, you have the power. You have the strength. You have all the ability that you need to move yourself in the right direction. You don't want to let this person take away your confidence, take away your self-assurance, your um, your self-respect. Love yourself, Libra, unconditionally. There's a lot of major arcana in this reading. We have the, the, the high priestess, the temperance, the judgment. We have the tower, the world, the strength, the chariot, the star. So this is definitely a very strong message to Libra. Um, and it's primarily a message of healing, 
redemption and renewal um, with the 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 tower the world you know um, this is a time of renewal I think 2023 for you Libra is going to be a great time of expansion um, primarily because I feel like the decisions that you're making now are going to foresee the success and the happiness that you have for the rest of the year. Does that make sense? I, I, I feel like um, with whatever you're going through at the moment, I feel like you're just going to make the decisions that you need to make that you are going to be happy no matter what. And, you know, you're going to find this happiness. You're going to work it out. That's what I feel. Yeah, definitely. Five of Cups. So I, I, I definitely feel like you no longer want to be around people who are kind of controlling your situation. You want to be in complete control. You want to move away from these people. Okay, Libra. Yeah, any people that are toxic, you want to move away from that situation. And I definitely feel like, okay, you have the Ten of Cups twice here. Libra, so I definitely feel like you're going to find happiness, but you're going to have to create your own happiness. You can't depend on someone else to create this happiness or to make you happy in a situation. I feel like this happiness is created by Libra. You're finding your happiness. You're, you're kind of... Um, you are... not accepting anything less and I feel like you have your mindset on it and I feel like with the seven of pentacles that's exactly what you're waiting for you're waiting for your happiness to come around Libra but like I said waiting for your happiness is not gonna create happiness not at all. You can't wait for somebody to make you feel happy. You can't wait for somebody to do something that's going to make you happy. You have to create this happiness for yourself. Find your joyful moments um, in whatever you like to do. But find your joyful moments. Um, let's get a little, a little bit of... Let's get some oracle cards. For Libra. Yeah, whatever the situation is, get more information. Get more information on your situation. I feel I really feel like you need to speak your mind. Speak your mind, Libra. Okay, and a year from now, so a year from now, you'll look back on this and you'll be like, why did I ever go through that? I feel like a year from now, you're going to be a more happier person. You're going to be in a more happier place, a more stable, secure place. I feel like the happiness is coming, definitely. Yeah, you have success on the bottom, so definitely. A year from now, and I hate to say that like that because, you know, who wants to wait a year for happiness? And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're waiting a year for happiness, Libra. It just means a year from now, you're going to be in a much better place. You're going to have a much better mindset. Um, you're going to be a lot happier. You're going to mm, maybe even have a healthier relationship but you know I'm, I'm not seeing new love in these cards I'm I'm just saying that could be a possibility for you Libra let's get some angel cards let's get some angel cards for advice for Libra and I'm still dropping cards okay 
Okay, we have Daniel. So you may be married to this person, Libra, or this may be your mate. Um, I am the angel of marriage, and I'm assisting you right now. So I feel like you have protection. You have protection and guidance. So you are, yeah, you are being protected, Libra. At the bottom you have, you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. So, yeah, you're, you're a divine soul, Libra. Let's get some energy for your person. What does Libra's person, what energy do they have right now? What's going on with Libra's person? Karmic relationship. Yeah, I, I feel like it says fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Okay. I, I feel like whatever situation this person, good or bad, Whatever the situation is is bringing into this relationship, the the karma is coming back to this person like tenfold. I feel like if this person brings you struggle, they're going to struggle. If this person doesn't give you appreciation, they're not going to receive appreciation. Do you get what I'm saying with this? I feel like whatever this person is bringing you, good or bad, is going to come back to them. Very much so. And I, I feel like they kind of have an inner knowing of this. That, you know, it's all going to come back to bite them in the end if they're treating you bad. If they're treating you badly, Libra, I feel like they, they already know that the karma's coming in. Okay, but... Like I said, this may be your mate. This may be uh, a marriage that you're dealing with. This may be your current spouse. Or you may be engaged to this person or in a long-term relationship. Um, but, yeah, this may be your twin flame. This Maybe that's the reason why you are trying to compose yourself. You're trying to compromise because you feel like this is your twin flame. Or this person feels like you are their twin flame. Maybe that's the reason why they're so dependent upon you. This person is kind of obsessed with you. They feel like you are the twin flame. Yeah. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future, separation. Yeah, so you may be separated from this person at the moment, or you may be thinking about separating. And you also have heartbroken at the bottom. So, yes, Libra. Ugh. Yeah, so this situation may end up with a separation. If, if you aren't separated already, I hate doing readings like this, Libra. I really do. Because I try to give you a positive aspect. I try to really uplift you and give you hope and, and make you... I, I like when I can make you feel good, but... You know, I have to read what's, what's in the cards. And this reading is like, yeah, I don't like it. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's get... What's going on with your person, Libra? What would they say to you if they... What do they need to say to you? I couldn't let you get close to me. Mm. I 
I don't know about that one. Yeah, I, I feel like this person doesn't want to let you go. They're dependent on you, Libra. They're definitely depending on you for some sort of situation. I really feel like you're supporting this person. I, I really feel like this person really doesn't make enough income or something in order to be on their own. So they're fully depending on you for support. So they definitely don't want a separation. They definitely don't want to uh, move away from the situation because they, they feel like you're their twin flame. They feel like you are their love. But I, I feel like you're kind of being pulled. I, feel, I, I really feel like you're being pulled to your limits. Okay, Libra, this is your reading. Um, if you have, if this resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And Libra, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in this situation if I have them uploaded. Okay, happy new year, Libra. Many blessings to you. Love and light.